Hey everyone, I'm Brian and welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at my recent pickups over the last month and a half or so. Uh, we'll start off with uh, some three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, the first uh, figure that uh, we'll take a look at is a uh, custom figure from Stan Solo. Uh, it's Princess Leia in her uh, slave outfit. Uh, again, this is a figure we never got from Kenner and uh i'm uh, i'm glad i got this uh, for my collection from the kenner line uh, i was at a flea market uh, antique uh, type show uh and one of the vendors had a lot of uh, kenner star wars uh that was all priced uh, uh really fairly um i picked up a uh, nikto that i was missing from my collection uh, I paid about $16 for that, um, and I could never pass up uh, Luke X-Wing. Uh, that's always my, uh, it's, about, it's been my favorite figure for a long time, so I picked up uh, an X-Wing Luke for about $15. Both figures are in uh, really good shape. Uh, staying in uh, three and three quarter inch, uh, some in-store pickups. Uh, I, was, uh, I picked up uh, Chewbacca from the Retro Collection. Uh, this is the prototype Chewbacca. I have the, I think the green body Chewbacca. Uh, I saw this at Target, and uh, and so I picked that up. Uh, also at Target, uh, I picked up uh, Migs Mayfeld, and it looks like that's starting to peg warm a little bit. Uh, kind of surprised. Uh, I like the character. I'm a big Bill Burr fan. I actually got to see him in, uh, uh, see him live in Saratoga Springs a couple weeks ago. Uh, great show if you ever get to uh, get a chance to go see that uh, and also picked up uh, Obi-Wan from Walmart uh, also from Walmart I picked up a model kit I saw this uh, kind of in the center aisle um, with a bunch of cars and everything it was the only Star Wars model on uh, that was out for on display uh, so I picked that up uh, a little more expensive it was like 20 bucks but uh, not too bad so that wraps it up for uh, three and three quarter inch figures. And uh, onto the Black Series, uh, which is my uh, primary focus. And uh, I like the uh, the on-card Black Series figures. They are uh, what I prefer to collect, although obviously I'll collect the boxes as you can see. Uh, I picked up George Lucas. Uh, this was a Big Bad toy store. Uh, I had this on pre-order for obviously for a while. Uh, and I do like this figure, so this will go up on my uh, up on the wall display at some point. And I also picked up the uh, most recent Galaxy Wave uh, wave of seven figures. Uh, it's a, a really solid wave. Uh, some really good figures in here. The only repeat is uh, is Vader, uh, and uh, it's a solid Vader as well. Uh, from the reviews, uh, again from out of the basement, uh, Luke Ness Monsters are favoring the Empire Strikes Back uh, as an inbox collector. I'm going to take their word for it. Again, a solid wave of uh, seven figures. And uh, a couple of uh, single pickups. Uh, I picked up the Knight of Ren. Uh, I was missing this from my collection, so I threw it in my uh, pile of loot to uh, fill out the order a little bit more for the shipping. And uh, an in-store pickup at uh, Target, uh, Death Watch Mandalorian. I do I already have this figure, uh, but it's hard to pass up. Uh, this is a good figure, so it's hard to pass that up. And uh, four, uh, four deluxe figures also came in, uh, again, past month or so. Uh, again, all uh, solid figures here. I really like Saw Gerrera. Uh, I think uh, there's quite a bit of detail in there uh, on that figure, so that, that looks pretty good. Um, again, I've seen uh, all the reviews on uh, Nail and Chill, uh, right from Mike Case to Out of the Basement. Uh, some really good reviews on that, along with Figure and Dan. And uh, recently just got the uh, Dark Trooper. This came in a couple days ago. So, uh, again, uh, some solid figures here to, uh, to add to the display. And uh, just just came in the other day. Uh, I just opened this, the uh, box for this one. 
the Amazon exclusive uh, prototype Boba Fett. Uh, I think I had this on pre-order since about January or February. Uh, probably just like everybody else. So uh, I was happy to see that uh, Amazon shipped this in a box. Uh, and then when I opened it up, there was absolutely no padding or anything in there. Um, just amazing how these companies uh, ship these figures. So. Uh, that rounds up my uh, my recent pickups. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, and again, thanks for watching.